what's going on guys just gonna hit you with a quick little video we're gonna look at the uh panthers and the seahawks schedule and we're just gonna surmise and see what their schedule is gonna look like without a quarterback so let's start with the panthers so week one we're gonna just do the uh first eight games up until the trade deadline and we're gonna see if they're gonna trade for baker mayfield or not so week one they play <coughs> the browns and if the browns have either uh Deshaun or Baker playing I think they are better than the Panthers so the Panthers will lose this game in my opinion I think they lose that game then they go over and they play the Giants uh Giants versus the Panthers this is this one would be a dog fight because both teams are not really good at all uh but the Giants have a, a little slight better quarterback. I mean, Daniel Jones isn't beating the world, but I think their team is a little bit better than the Panthers, and they had a better draft, so I think the Giants will beat them. Then the Saints, Saints just picked up Jarvis Landry. They have Michael Thomas. They have a quarterback, Jameis Winston. Nothing great, but it's still better than the Panthers. The Saints will beat them. So now they're 0-3. So we get the Cardinals versus the Panthers. DeAndre Hopkins might be hurt, but they still have other guys. I think the Panthers lose this one, too. So now they're 0-4. They go to the Niners. <laughs> they're not beating the Niners. So that's 0-5. And, and then they go to the Rams. Uh, I don't see them beating the Rams. That's the defending champs. They're not beating the Rams. So that's another loss. Then they go to Tom Brady. Uh, yeah, we know what, that, what that's going to be. That's a loss. They haven't beaten Brady since he's been in that division. And then we go to the Falcons. They have Marcus Mariota. They, uh, Calvin Ridley's out for the year. Uh, they have Cordell Patterson, Kyle Pitts. I think the Falcons are still better than the Panthers. The Falcons are not a good team, but the Panthers are even worse. I take the Falcons. And then they play the Bengals week nine. I think that's the trade deadline. And they're not beating the Bengals. So they could either, they could potentially be 0-9 at the trade deadline. If not 0-9, they could be 1-8. All right, so the, the Panthers, it is not looking good for them, not getting a quarterback. Sam Darnold is not proven, and he's just not going to get it done for you. So I think they're going to be 1-8 or 0-9. All right, let's go to Seattle with Drew Locke. Their first game right out of the bat, they have Seattle playing the Broncos. So Russell gets to play his old team. I think you all know what's going to happen here. Russell is going to come and take it to his old team. Broncos are going to win this one big. He knows his team, his old team. He knows their weaknesses. He knows how to attack them. I think they're game planning right now on how they're going to attack them. And I think the Broncos are going to win that one easily. Now we go Seahawks, Niners. Uh, I'm going to take the Niners. Niners are just more established. They have two quarterbacks as of right now. They're a great team. They won the NFC Championship last game. They're literally a play away, a couple plays away from being in the Super Bowl. I take the Niners. Falcons, Seahawks. Huh. Falcons, Seahawks. I don't trust the Seahawks. They With Russell Wilson last year, they won two games, three games. So now they have Drew Locke. So you're expecting me to think they're going to be better. Yeah, I take the Falcons. Lions, Seahawks. The Lions actually picked up some players. I don't think the Lions are going to be anywhere, anywhere near as bad as they were last year. So I... Uh, they picked up a receiver. They picked up some linemen. They got a decent team. They're, they're building the team together right now. They have Jared Goff. I take the Lions over the Seahawks, guys. You can debate me on that, but I just think the Lions are built better than the Seahawks. The Seahawks are built horribly. They have, other than Lockett and Metcalf, and then they have that uh, running back, they have no line. They have no whole line. They have no quarterback. Their defense is lackluster. I just don't. They're not a good team anymore. There's a reason Russell Wilson left. 
I'm taking Seahawks. Actually, Saints are going to beat the Seahawks. So right now you got the Seahawks 0-5. Cardinals, Seahawks, D-Hop is, should be back by then. Seahawks are going to lose this one. So they're 0-6. Seahawks, Chargers. Chargers are built very nicely. Chargers are going to win that one. Giants, Seahawks. Ho. Oh, this one is a tough game. I think the Seahawks could win this one. But I don't trust Drew Locke, man. I really just don't. I take the Giants. Seahawks versus Cardinals. And then that's the Cardinals. And then they play the Bucks. So both teams are going to be starting off very, very bad, in my opinion. Unless they pick up a Baker Mayfield. You know, one of these guys that are on the bench that used to be a starter. Maybe a Cam Newton or something. Unless they pick somebody up, they're going to be having an 0-9 start, a 1-8 start, both teams. Maybe a 2-6 start. Like, neither team is going to win more than two, three games at the midway point. If anyone wants to debate me on that, I would love to hear what you have to say. But uh, that's what's going to happen at the midway point. Now let's see how they'll finish out the year, the Panthers. So we got them from the Bengals on. Now, Falcons, Panthers. We'll give this one to the Panthers. We'll say they'll win this one just because I'm being nice. Ravens, we'll, they'll win that. Broncos will beat them. They'll play the Seahawks. Ooh, this is the battle of the stinkers right here. Ooh, they got me. I did not see that one coming. This is a stink battle. Oh, my God. I don't even know. This one, they let's... Wow, I... Wow, I would have to look at that one. That one, oh my God, that's a stink ball. I I take the, who's the home team? I think Seahawks are home. So we'll take Seahawks because the Panthers have to travel west. I think that will mess with them. So I think this, I'll take the Seahawks only for that reason. Steelers, Panthers. Steelers have a quarterback now. I mean, he's not great, but he's better than what they have. I take the Steelers. Lions. Panthers. I take the Lions because they're built a little bit better. Buccaneers and then Saints. So I have the Panthers winning no more than three games this year. So they'll be three and fourteen, in my opinion. No more than three and fourteen. And the Seahawks, how would they finish out? Let's see. Against the Chargers, yeah, they lose that. Giants, Seahawks. They travel to the Seahawks. The Giants could lose that game, but I'm not giving them that. I'm not giving Seahawks the edge. Lose that one. Uh, Cardinals, yeah, they lose that one. They lose this one. Raiders are really good this year. They're going to get their score run up on. They're going to lose this one. This schedule is tough. And then this one, we already said Seahawks will win this one. They lose this one. <laughs> They're going to lose that one. And they could probably beat the Jets, honestly. So I'll give them this one. They'll beat the Jets. And then the Rams, they'll lose to the Rams. So they have a win there. So one. Uh, where's the other one I saw? Two right here. Uh... Two. Three. Yeah, same here. Seahawks are not winning more than four games this year. So the most they'll be this year is four and 13 or three and 14. And that's what we're going with. And other than that, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.